Recent studies show that ghost nets account for 30 to 50% of all ocean plastic waste. 46% of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, northeast of Hawaii for instance, consists of old fishing nets. This is an almost unimaginable size. The vortex alone is more than four times the size of Germany and consists of 80,000 tons of plastic. I'm a surfer and designer and ocean lover and I've seen these nets washing up on our shores all my life and I decided to do something about it. So I saw these ghost nets and plastics washing up on our beaches and started doing research and found out that there are about 640,000 tonnes of ghost nets that are manufactured every year. Fishermen tend to use them for three to six months before they are completely redundant and often they end up in landfill or worse on our beaches and get abandoned at sea. There's a, a lot of damage that is created by these nets, which are called ghost nets because they keep creating damage for, for many years. I really wanted to do something positive with this waste material. I'm very keen to kind of look at positive outcomes. Recycling the material, shredding it, is, is technology that's been around for a long time that we can utilise. I was tired of all the talking. I wanted to do something positive about it and really demonstrate that we can take action, that there are solutions, and there are many solutions for loads of environmental issues that, that we face at the moment. There are so many amazingly positive solutions. We can create action, and, and that's what EcoTribo is all about, has been an active, positive demonstration of how we can be the change we want to see. Our nets get collected from remote areas, beaches, coves, waterways where you don't usually get city council trucks coming in and cleaning a beach. They are from remote areas and, and these are the areas generally where animals are living away from crowds. It's quite precious that these nets are, you know, they are hard to, to collect and they are difficult and we are doing a really good job. We're taking these out of these really remote areas. I work with a group of people and we collect tons of this stuff. So far in the last year or so, there's been about 50 tons that has been collected and, and sorted in this way. So far, we've been making our plant pots. We've got carabiners, which are the key rings. I started off making the Shaka hands and various products in about 2017. Currently we're doing everything quite small scale as you can see, but the idea is to really scale production. I'm excited that we've proven the concept. I've made sales and, and sold my products all over the world and I'm getting a lot of interest from retailers and shops around the country and abroad. Our first plant pot that will be mass manufactured and using tons of material so we'll be able to really scale the cleanup and utilize a lot more material and that should be positive for the environment, people and planet. We've spent a lot of time designing and thinking about the life cycle of the, the actual product itself and wanting to create products that will be around for a long time. There are challenges that comes with recycling and processing ocean plastics and ghost nets in particular. It's a really robust material. It's tricky to recycle. There's a lot of bio waste and sand and various materials that often get mixed into it. So there are challenges, but it is possible and I am doing it.